Hi friends, from this video tutorial I want to show you how to use a system Hugo. I want to say right away why I use it. This is because it's very fast and it is a static generator. That is, there are sites that generate ordinary static pages and cannot be hacked. If you use WordPress or Joomla, then these sites are absolutely easy to hack. For example, if a person knows the system and wants to hack it, he will definitely find vulnerables and be able to damage it. I had such a situation, that's why I use Hugo. The advantages of uh, the site on Hugo are very cool. How to optimize after testing the site, writing on Hugo, all results are below 100%. Everything will work perfectly if you will watch my videos and follow my recommendation. You will make the same cool site. The advantage are that uh, you don't need to buy hosting and it's enough to use GitHub. The first thing I want to show you is uh, you need to install uh, Chocolate to work with Hugo on Windows 10. Now I will show you how to find it using the links. This is how I went through the links to install Chocolate. Click on Get Started, copy the code, then we go to PowerShell. Be sure to run PowerShell as an administrator. Paste the code and press Enter. Then you need to go to Google and write Release Hugo. I will leave the installation link below to make it easier for you to install Hugo. We find a link with the installation of Hugo on Windows. Open the download information. After that you need to unzip the information. Now you can see uh, that you have three files – Hugo, License and README. The folder should be named bin and added to the environment variables. Then click on environment variables, uh, here we are interested in path, and after that add path to our folder uh, with uh, three filers uh, needed for uh, Hugo to work. Now you can work with Hugo in complete peace of mind. I have already downloaded uh, the theme, it is called Gokarna. I will transfer it to folder pictures. When you go to the official Hugo website, there is a theme button and uh, you can choose any theme you like and download it to your PC. Next, you need to create a folder and name it as you like. Now I will open the created folder in Visual Studio Code. I press open and open the created folder. If you now see, I can use the command to create a site, Hugo new site www. Remember this command, that is www is now a newly created folder that will contain uh, all the data for the normal operation of your site. Now we have a themes folder, it's empty now. I want to put my theme in this folder. I have a Gokarna theme, I will unpack it. And now I have all the files to work with my theme. Now I need to name it Gokarna, because this theme is called Gokarna. Now you can copy it to the theme folder. Next you need to go to the folder with the website www. That is, we went to create it. That is, we went to the created site with our Gokarna theme. Now you need to fill in the config.toml file. To fill out this file, it's better to read the information on the page of the corresponding topic, so that it uh, works normally for you. I go to the customization section, so I copied the config.toml. And now I can, uh, so I copied uh, the config.toml 
information and now I can run the site using the Hugo Surf command in the terminal. Now you can see the path itself. That is, if uh, after entering the Hugo Surf command you see information like mine. Then everything is fine and you can calmly work with your theme. After crossing the filter, the site opens. In principle, we have set everything here. In the following video lesson, I will show you how to work with Hugo in more detail. Don't forget these two commands we learned. The first command is Hugo new site www to create a new site and Hugo serve to open your project. You can also use the Hugo server command. In the following video lesson I will show you how you can work with templates, content and other details. That's all. I will be grateful for your likes and subscribe to my channel.